Rumors point to your Galaxy S10 possibly bringing a notch. Yeah, you heard that right. Huawei is having trouble shipping phones to the United States, and they're still selling well. And Apple keeps losing market share this year, even if the company sticks to its own way of doing business. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I do have to agree, the P20 Pro has me like a kid in a candy store, but wait for our video review. There are a ton of things I need to tell you about that phone. This is Pocket Out Daily. The official news today begin with uh, product launches because there aren't any deals available right now. Uh, the Fitbit Versa now goes live globally for those of you interested in an Apple Watch uh, competitor, at least when it comes to the looks. The functionality is not really there. There's no GPS functionality, for example, and uh, with the launch, special features will not be available until later through a software update. So yeah, still 200 bucks, it's a good deal. And how about if we talk about Apple? For those of you that uh, think that Cupertino is having a great time, particularly with the iPhone 10 not selling much, uh, as it turns out, China has proven to be really difficult. The company has lost six points in market share, down to 19%. This is the, something that has happened for the first time ever. I mean, Apple has been extremely popular in China, yet I still see iPhone 10s everywhere, so I wonder exactly, you know, why. Now let's talk about Huawei. Yes, there are some terrible news with the fact that the, the company is really struggling to be able to figure things out in the United States when it comes to the government. But as it turns out, the company actually has been selling phones. Devices like the Mate 10 Pro in addition to the P20 Pro have already pretty much sold almost 20 million units. That is something crazy. Obviously not necessarily just in the United States, but it's clear that these phones are popular. I've been using them for a bit and I am extremely surprised. And speaking of bands, a company that has us really shocked the ZTE, I mean, the company is pretty much the partner for carriers like AT&T and others, and uh, their ban right now in the United States is kind of crazy by the US Department of Commerce, up to the point where the company pretty much can't even make deals with Android because of the whole fact that they were discovered uh, with transactions between US parts and Iran. And this is already starting to sound like CNN, so I'm not gonna dig any further. You can learn more about it in the link in the description. Hopefully the company figures it out. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with the Samsung Galaxy S10 because uh, we already have rumors. We're not necessarily sure that the patent leaks that we've just found are focusing on the Galaxy S10, but according to the source, apparently they are. Uh, we notice differences in the back, and that's the reason why I'm kind of, uh, I don't know, skeptical. We see antenna bands, and we don't expect the Galaxy S10 to be made of aluminum again, but hey, one of the most interesting parts about this design is the fact that the notch is being included. Uh, the company obviously wants to focus on bringing us all display designs. I just, I, God, I wish that the notch wasn't uh, the exception. And you know, in today's question, let us know. Would you be satisfied if Samsung would do this as well as the company has stuck to its roots, has focused on being Samsung and not copying Apple, and now we see this? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch yesterday's Pocket Out Daily up here in our review of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.